Long trade and play by the inside technicians live trading room. Price profit targets are laid out to the upside at 1839.50, 1840.25, 1841, and 1841.50 respectively. Now trading mark to the market at 1839.25. Initial price profit target is already hit. Substantial volume has come in after a great setup on the 15 minute charts across the board. Gaining back some of the loss from the last two sessions, large days down. Now again, if this is a blow off, it would be considered something that would be very short lived and would be gotten out of almost immediately if prices turned back around. But right now with the extended volume that's came in now for the third one minute bar for 2,872 contracts, it appears that that could continue to the upside. Mark to the market 1839.75, positive change to the upside on another probe within the current one minute bar with some like 45 seconds left. Next price profit target to the upside to be realized is 1840.25. And there we have it, additional move. 10 seconds left when the current one minute bar, 9, 8, 7, 6. Prefer to see the up close to have more confidence and to continue to move to the upside. Eighteen thirty nine fifty MTM, eighteen thirty nine seventy five. Substantial resistance on a one minute chart comes into play at the 1841-1841-50 area. Great position on SMI for the long trade to stay. MFI clear to stay long. MA is clear to stay long. MACD cross complete absolute clear to stay long additional trend line violation once again there we have it another trend line violation excellent trade to the upside in play in the live trading room 1840 MTM looking to get to 1840.25 substantial resistance at 1841 and 1841.50 on a one minute chart Getting back to the 15-minute chart, briefly here, there is some resistance at 1839.75, and then again, the subsequent level to the upside coincides with the one-minute chart at 1841.50. You copy that. Copy that. Eighteen thirty nine seventy five on the fifteen minute chart coincides with the eighteen forty one level, the absolute price point on the one minute chart. Now finding some temporary resistance at the eighteen thirty nine fifty level. More volume is now coming in. Prices have opened back down at eighteen thirty nine twenty five. Current one minute bar support level is located here at this level at 1839.25 where the price of the trading MTM right now. Chicken is quit or remain alone. Copy that. MFI is clear to remain long. Price is now getting back down to the preferred end at 1838.75. That 
support level is held. Prices can trade up from that area. MFI is clear to stay long. If prices trade below the 1838.50 level, one would consider possibilities of getting out of the trade to protect your risk capital and get back in the trade at a new preferred entry at a tick above this area right here. Prices for the moment are holding at 1838.75, 1839. MFI remains clear to be long at a 40.55 value. Chicken has retreated a bit, but it is still <clears throat> above the trend line. The trend line violation of the upside is still in play. Copy that. So essentially, the 1839.75 level on a 15-minute chart has been tested, and the high has reached 1840. Price is holding 1838.75 at the current previous preferred entry area. And now more volume coming in, 1,090, some odd 15 seconds left in the current 15-minute bar. Price is trading back up to the 1839.50 level. 1838.75 previous preferred end has now been found a support level. Price is trading back up. Volume is relatively light for 841. 1627 contracts trade when the current one minute bar. And again, now back up 1839.75. Positive to stay long. MFI is good at a new value of 41.41 up a point and a half from last quote. Taken also demonstrating stronger momentum to the upside. Mm -hmm. It would be a beautiful thing if we could just get seven or eight thousand contracts mm -hmm. on a, yes, it would. And a big accumulation and get this over with. Skip right back up to 1841.50, stabilize, and look for some more money to the upside. Indicator setups are strong. Two trend line violations after the positive divergence out of the SMI. Plenty of room to go to the upside until we get to internal resistance at this area or possibly this area. Test again on the 15-minute chart has been made by the high, which exceeds 1839 and 75 right here at this point. Major resistance at 1841.50 is established by these three different price points. Price holding 1839.50. Let's consider the larger picture, people. We just ran a long way from 1834 up to 1839.50, 1839.75, and 1840 for the test of this level. It may, at this point, if we don't have a lot of substantial volume come in, uh, find that as resistance for the time being. Let's take a look at the volume numbers here that have or have not come in. In this case, have not. Well, this could change at any moment in time, depending upon how these institutions decide to come in for a larger contract sizing. We're looking for five or 7,000 contracts to get us right up to 1841.50 on a rally. Clear across the board to stay long. Eighteen thirty nine seventy five being held on the 15-minute chart resistance level. For those of you that don't want the extended hold time out of this trade, as we spoke about earlier, uh, you might want to take this off the table. You should have been in at the preferred entry right here at 1838.75. At 1839.75, there's a quick point for you. There's no harm in taking it off the table. The volume is not coming. You can book that. We know that we're trading more than the minimum contracts because of the change in market conditions.
now 1839.75 and moving back down to 1839.50. What are your thoughts, Brad? I'd like to see more volume come in if we're going to push these prices up higher. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to get a bounce today, given the two strong days down. Copy that. I do think we're going to see some more momentum to the upside today. Strong signals coming out of the 15-minute indicators in the lower area of the subgraph. <laughs> Eight forty four AM Eastern Standard. A few seconds left within the current. Well, I'm already out of this trade. I was in at 18, uh, 38.75 under preferred in, and I got out at 18.39.75. Prices got to that 18.40 that was at uh, on a test in the 15-minute chart at 18.39.75. New bars open, you know, 15-minute chart, and then trading down marginally, uh, although clear to stay long falling off somewhat on its momentum to the upside. So when I say uh, this could be a halting point, you know, 1839.75 in a one minute chart, uh, 1840 as it relates to, you know, the 1839.75 with the 15 minute chart, take the point off the board. At this time of day, it's not a bad idea and book the profit. There is a possibility this trade could turn and take right off but without any substantial volume the point was a clear decision that worked in my favor this morning I hope you got some of that Brad I did I did um, in <laughs> at uh, end of the bar the, uh, the long bar up at the close the preferred entry uh, I didn't get in until 1830 Excuse me, 1839. Mm -hmm. Out at 1839.75. Okay, good. I have recorded this live trade to be posted at a later time, so we're going to close uh, the actual recording portion of this and continue on with the live trading room. The inside technician is now officially open. Uh, today is April 8th. 2014. The time is now 8.47 a.m. And another excellent representation of our smart money trading methodology, booking real profits in real time. Momentum to the upside. Clear to stay long. Live trading room open. If this turns out to be a blow off to the upside again, we want to be out of this as fast as humanly possible. Uh, there is another possibility that the 1840.25 could be found as support or even 1840 in order to get a better fill if you weren't in and then take off again. It does not appear to be the case at this time. We're clear to stay long after the entry on the preferred in here at 1840.25. On the 15-minute indicators, clear to be long, SMI, clear to be long, check and money flow, clear to be long on the EMA is clear to be long on the MACD, and clear to be long straight up on the momentum on the MFI. 1841.50 resistance level just about hit on the 15-minute chart, looking to get through that and on a 15-minute basis up to 18.43, which is the one-minute level that Brad just gave us a few minutes ago. 1843 is superior resistance at that point on a 15 minute chart.
1841, 25. Now we're up to 1841.50 positive to the upside. Next incremental price profit target is now hit at 1841.50. Excellent. Exceeding now at 1841.75. Looking to get to the 1842 level. Right here. And price is back down to 1841. So at this point on the 15 minute chart basis, the 1841.50 resistance level is being held. We have approximately 5 minutes and 30 some odd seconds left in the current 15 minute bar. eighteen forty one fifty for those of you that got in at the preferred entry area you have an opportunity to take the profit off the table from the preferred in eighteen forty twenty five and book another profit you do not have to stay in the trade fifteen minute indicators across the board are clear to stay long Trading MTM at 1841.25, 1841.50. Current one minute bar is trading up and testing the 1841.50 level again. New high, 1841 test, 1841.75 test. Come on. Let's get right up to 1842 so we can get to 1840. Here we are. 1842 has been hit. Another incremental price profit target. Excellent trade and play identified by this methodology. Wow. Good trade today. Moving right up on a test now at 1842.25. Current one minute bar has approximately 10 seconds left. Volume is strong. 15 minute indicators across the board are clear to remain long. Holding at this incremental target at 1842, we have two tests. Current previous one minute bar at 1842.25. 15 minute indicators are clear. Stay long. Eighteen forty three twenty five held. Closing out one minute bar momentarily. Fifteen minute indicators, excuse me, indicators are clear to remain long. Across the board. Strong up on SMI. Straight up on shaken. EMAs, MACD straight up. Excellent trade in play, holding strong. Eighteen forty two level. Now moving down from eighteen forty two twenty five. Back at eighteen forty one fifty MTM. For those of you that are wanting to take a quick profit. You have an excellent opportunity to do so. 15-minute indicators are clear to remain long. Know that that will be an extended hold time. Your decision. We now have the 1841.50 resistance level being uh, held. We have one minute 
and 40 some odd seconds left within that current 15 minute bar. I would like to see more volume come in. 15 minute money flow indicators remain strong to get to the next leg up at 1843 or possibly above. 1843 on the 15 minute chart is a major resistance area people as outlined by these prices right here. That would be the area to be out on a rally for my money. Price is now back up here uh, at 1842.50 on a new test. Looking to get to 1843 on a rally. What do you have above 1843, Brad? Well, I have another very incremental price level at 1843.25. Uh, next level above that is 1844.25. MFI straight up. Indicators are clear to be long in the 15-minute charts. Taking it still straight up. MTM, we're at 1841.75, 1841.50 now. Testing the previous price profit target level. MFI is now with a new bar open right here losing momentum but still clear to be long the new 15 minute bar has officially opened at the previous bar's close and now moving down so where the 1842.25 1842.50 level never coincided with any real resistance uh, as a price profit target as in 1843 that would have been the area as soon as prices turned back around at 1842, uh, getting through the most recent floor level on the previous one minute bar to be out for my money. If the prices turn back around and continue to trade up, another move will not be revisited until we get above the open of 945. That price is 1842.50 for a preferred in 1842.75. Price profit targets hit, profits taken. I hope everybody got some of that. It's another excellent representation of our smart money trading methodology that was designed by us here at the Inside Technician well over 20 years ago. All the indicators are fully back tested in isolation for profitability in uh, five different market conditions. Uh, a lot of money spent here uh, and not much has changed in the last 20 some odd years. Always looking to find, track and trade the largest institutions so that we fade these moves at the precise time in order to pick up profits. We have made major, major um, money in the last three trading days, the two big sell-off days and then again today as well. This is the second profitable trade identified uh, by myself as administrator, chief market strategist for the inside technician and uh, Brad Logan, the other administrator in the room who's been through the executive mentorship program. We're going to stop this recording now. If something else comes into play, we'll begin again. Thank you for joining us in the live trading room. For any questions, you can just visit the insidetechnician.com and respond to our um, Acting Agent Adrian Bickham through the contact page form within the Inside Technician's website.